Hi all, Kyber Morn here with a new review for Rifts Sciescape. This is a mature review as there is some violent and disturbing content in this one as well as some nudity and suggestive themes. Um, that being said, uh, let's get into it. And uh, I warned you so. Um, you have uh, little ones, or if you're sensitive to this material, this may not be the product for you. Um, I'm going to try to avoid showing certain things, but there are no guarantees in life. The only guarantee is that you can avoid watching this. Alright, so let's begin. The themes for this are new powers. Uh, interdimensional threats, and uh, character types with psionic origins. Um, so this reminds me of Final Fantasy VI, in part, um, mainly due to uh, the, the final section. Spoiler alert, like, Nixla definitely reminds me of Kefka. And uh, not, not, in this, not in any... Uh, specific way, just uh, the the organic component of Nixla being uh, like there's something about the environment that Nixla is and it, it's it is awesome. Um, so, yeah, this is an example of Nixla. There are, this thing is composed of, like, dead bodies and stuff. The soulless zombies. Um, <laughs> so, my big complaint, though, is that this is my favorite Rifts supplement. Or my favorite thing involved in Rifts at all. Um, they could have really used some more tables instead of leaving everything in paragraph format. Um, so, my high praise, though, is that Nixla is awesome. And so are all of the, well, a lot of the 18 character class options. Uh, there are 18 between... Um, OCCs and RCCs, or Occupational Character Classes and Racial Character Classes. Um, the, uh, the key points, though, are the Harvester on page 17 to 20, Soulless Zombies on 21 and 22, uh, Nixla on 22 to 24, <clears throat> Sizecape on 24 through 31, Terms and Notes on 32 to 34. Psionic Abilities on 35 to 48. Burster on 48 to 52. Mind Bleeder on 52 through 55. Mind Melter on 55 through 57. <clears throat> Nega Psychic. NEGA hyphen psychic on 57 to 59, Psy Druid on 59 to 62, Psy Ghost on 63 to 66, Psy Nullifier on 66 to 69, um, Psy Slayer on 69 to 74, Psy Tech on 74 through 76. Psy Warrior on 76 through 81. Um, Zapper on 81 to 83. Psy Cola is a type of drug beverage on 84 through 90. Uh, Monsters on 90 through 117. And there's a couple more villainous non character classes but definitely NPC character classes uh, after that. Um, Amorph on 117 to 120. Demon Dragon Mage on 120 to 123. 
so it's de demon hyphen dragon mage, by the way. Psy Goblin on 128 to 130. Uh, Yabatiar or Yabiar on 130 to 135. It's a little confusing. Um, Zar Crystal Dragon on 135 to 138. The Zenith Moon Warper on 138 to 140. <clears throat> Psionic Technology on 148 to 156. And the Experience Point Tables on 157. Uh, so, the fact that there are 18 different OCCs and RCCs com combined. Um, there's a lot of character options. Uh, there aren't many cons. Like, content is... Let me go to one of my favorites. So, like, the Nagus Psychic, like, this, this guy's got all sorts of cool abilities. Um, so, he's closed off to the supernatural. You know, like, certain things just don't affect him. He's not readable. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, a certain scientific index on, uh, no, a certain magical index where the guy's right hand, uh, dispels magic, only this is, like, this guy's mind, and it has an effect on his body and stuff, and that's really cool. Um, the Psy Slayer is another one of my favorites, like, The telekinetic airwalk and the side dagger, like this is a great, great supplement. Like if you're thinking about psychic powers for your game or your system or whatever, look at this. Like Psyscape is wonderful and awesome. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. I believe you can get it on Drive Through RPG if you have no physical means of getting it. All right, Kyber Mount.